we are just one week away from the full reveal of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And in this video, we're going to be discussing the first look at the new boss enemies that we can expect in the mode. Now, as a reminder, this mode has been revealed next week at the COD Next event in LA, and I am being flown out by Activision to be at the event and to stream it all here on the channel. So if you want to see the reveal happening live here on the channel, as well as streaming multiplayer and Warzone gameplay for the first time, you need to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. But on the topic of the new bosses, this all comes courtesy of of an overnight listing by Walmart of all places of a new Modern Warfare 3 limited edition collector's box, not to be confused with any sort of prestige edition or an official collector's edition from Activision themselves. This is a really cool box, which includes a copy of the game, as well as a ton of exclusive items, few of them being zombies related. And one in particular that's really exciting is a zombie night vision metallic poster. And we'll touch on that in a moment, but this also includes a set of eight collector's pins, which includes this bottle cap for Juggernog Soda, confirming that Juggernog is back, although we've already discussed that before on the channel, as well as a pin for the Monkey Bomb, which is confirmed to be back, and a set of four special edition lithographs, including one showing the classic ray gun with the caption available in a mystery box near you for 950 points, which confirms the ray gun's also going to be in Modern Warfare 3. But we've also already confirmed that on the channel. But we need to talk about the zombie night vision metallic poster, because here it is in its full glory. Now, of course, this is a artistic drawing of a scene from Modern Warfare 3 Zombies rather than it be straight from the game itself. We can clearly see ghosts with night vision goggles. We can see gas with night vision goggles, but it's what's behind them that is the most interesting because the size and scale of this thing is definitely something we need to talk about. Now, on the surface, this thing looks like a giant worm, potentially even sort of apothecan looking like, but if you look at its teeth, the teeth closely resemble that of a plague hound that we saw back in Black Ops Cold War. But outside of the teeth, it looks really different to any other enemy type that we've seen before inside of zombies. Like I said, it's got these weird sort of spikes on the head of it, which makes it look a bit like a worm. But then looking at all the spikes across its body, it looks a little bit similar to the tormentors that we saw within the Mauer de Totem map, which replaced the Plague Hound rounds and were these sort of suicide bomber zombies with crystals on them that rush towards you and explode upon getting close enough to cause damage. It literally looks like they took those and the Plague Hounds and literally morph them together into this massive worm, which could act as this new hybrid boss within Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. This really could just be a new mutated version of the Hellhound, but the proportions of this monster in comparison to the characters being so much bigger than them makes it look like this is a much bigger monster than just a simple Hellhound or a Plaguehound, which leads us to speculate if what we're looking at here is one of the newer, bigger enemies within Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, because the only known facts that Activision have put out about the mode is that this will be a PvE extraction survival experience against some of the biggest enemies in Call of Duty history. And that's plural, meaning that there are going to be multiple massive boss zombies that we have never seen before, all in this one mode at the same time. With the idea of there being up to 24 players within a single lobby of Modern Warfare 3 zombies, it makes you think about the possibilities of there being a boss that is so gigantic in scale that teams are actually going to need to team up in order to take these things down. And they're going to act as sort of mini boss fight events, which I think is really exciting. But if you also notice in the back of the poster, you can see that we have the Disciple zombies returning in Modern Warfare 3 as well. Now, what these zombies do is they're able to enhance standard zombies, causing them to smoke and their eyes to glow purple. And within that state, the zombies have increased health. And we force into a more aggressive state where they're faster and they attack you quicker. We also have an attack called Drain Life, which deals consistent damage to a player that could be interrupted by shooting the hand that's projecting the beam. And that will also allow the zombie to regain some of its life force using your health. Judging from the cutscene with the Dark Aether Vial letting out a massive cloud of purple smoke, the fact these disciples are able to enhance standard zombies by causing them to smoke and their eyes to glow purple, I think is a really interesting coincidence. But with this poster being just an artistic stylization of Modern Warfare 3 zombies, it's really hard to judge how much of this is actually relevant to the gameplay itself with the fact in the cutscene that the vial smashes during the dead of night the end part of the cutscene shows us in the day what if this poster with the fact that it's a night vision poster simulates the fact that as the game goes on in modern warfare 3 zombies the actual cycle of the day changes from starting in the day to ending at night i think that would be absolutely wild 
day and night cycle on an open world zombies map would just be so awesome and the fact that the longer you go on it in the game it gets more dangerous as it is with the gas coming in the fact that there could also be the chance that the longer the game goes on the darker the map gets and the darker the experience gets i think that is a really exciting idea i think the fact that in the start of the cutscene they were using night vision goggles and now we're seeing it here in this poster as well simulates that at least some parts of it could potentially be set at night let me know your thoughts on that down below even if it came to a part where certain portions of the map and some areas were dark and you had to find night vision goggles in order to traverse around that with zombies as well i think that's a really cool concept that we've not really seen before dmz experimented with it a little bit and i think it was a really successful thing to have especially with the close quarters area it was introduced in so maybe that's something we could see in this mode who knows outside of the bosses that we see in this poster we've obviously got the screenshot that shows the mimic returning so we can absolutely confirm that and from a presentation that i saw at sledgehammer games which was just slideshows of different parts of zombies i saw images of each of these zombie bosses just sort of in a t-pose position and these were the mimic which you already know is returning there was the mangler the cranzy soldier and a normal hellhound now i think there'll definitely be more boss types than what i've seen so far in the game and this artistic poster is surely just one of many bosses that we're gonna see like we saw bosses as big as the orders in black ops cold war so we'll definitely see at the very least the orders return if not other enemies that are even bigger which is a really exciting prospect and i think it's fair to say as well with the fact that this is based off of cold war zombies especially the fact it's happening in the future from cold war zombies pretty much every single cold war zombie enemy we've seen is likely to return perhaps with a few mutations like we're seeing with this poster one that i think we'll definitely see is the abomination which was added during the forsaken map it was a very late addition and it was the most similar thing we've seen yet to a magua being a three-headed monster whose heads can be destroyed but i'd also like to think 40 years on from cold war we're gonna see some new dark eva entities evolve and emerge in the game which i'm really excited about but touching on this collector's edition box for a little bit it's 150 dollars and like i said it's not an official activision product it's a completely separate thing that walmart are creating and some of the items are really really cool like one of the final things on this is a bronze washed resin wall plaque featuring ghost and just the quality of that I did not expect it to be that nice for something that includes so many other things for $150. There's a few other questionable designs though, like in terms of some of the posters that you get. One of them shows Makarov, but it's an image of Makarov from MW3. It's not the new Modern Warfare 3 version of Makarov, which is an interesting decision but the last time there was ever sort of limited collector's edition from activision themselves was for modern warfare 2019 with the night vision goggles so i don't think there's going to be anything anywhere near related to that coming from activision themselves so if you want a collector's version of modern warfare 3 this is definitely the next best thing and that poster is really really interesting i'd love to know what you think about that design do you think it's a massive new boss do you think it's a new version of the plague hound do you think it's something completely different potentially even apothecan related because it looks a bit like a worm let me know your thoughts below